I think so many times we get frustrated and discouraged when our wigs don't look 100% perfect straight out of the box. And I'm here to tell you after two years of wearing wigs regularly, every single wig that I have worn, I've needed to do a little bit of tweaking to make it my own, to make it feel like it's my hair. After all, I'm wearing it on my head and each person is different. We all have our own preferences. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through simple, easy, at-home things you can do to make your wig look its absolute best. Here I have this beautiful, heat-friendly synthetic piece by Raquel Welch. The name of it is mesmerized, and this beautiful red color is called Cinnabar. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on, but before I do that, I'll show you quickly just what the cap looks like so we know what we're dealing with. So it's got the full monofilament top. That means anywhere within this area, it can be parted and it's gonna look like your scalp has a lace front that goes ear tab to ear tab, and then this one happens to be a hand-tied cap. I have my thumbs right there at the ear tab. I'm gonna place the lace at my hairline. And with the other hand, I'm gonna take the nape and pull it back. All right, now I'm gonna adjust it. I'm gonna find those ear tabs. I never wanna pull on the lace. I always wanna adjust with the ear tabs. So you can pick it up and kind of place it where it needs to go, making sure those ear tabs are even on either side. And here's what this looks like right after I flipped it over on my head. This is a long wig, so we've got lots of fibers. And I can tell you right now, I am feeling a little overwhelmed by the amount of hair on this wig. I've owned Mesmerize before and I know she's a gorgeous piece and has a ton of potential and that's what I wanna show you. I wanna show you how to bring out the potential in your wig, make it look its best. So the first step is gonna be getting this hair out of my face and moving the part. To do that, I'm gonna use a spray bottle. This is just from Amazon. It's like the mister style, I don't know if you can see that. Um, but it's a really fine mist. I'm just gonna take this, it's just plain water and I'm gonna spray it right at the top on this part, I find it easier to open up the part, move the part around when the fiber is a little bit wet. All right, so now that the fiber is wet, I'm gonna take the end of a rat tail comb. I'm pretty sure I just got this at the dollar store or Walmart, somewhere like that. And I'm just gonna move the part. So you can see where I part it, you're seeing scalp underneath because remember it had that full monofilament top. So I'll just show you a few different parting options on this wig. So we could part it way over on the side. We could do a middle part. Or we could part it on the other side. I think what I'm gonna do is do a middle part. I'm just kind of cleaning up this middle part. And I like mesmerized in a middle part because of how these long bangs lay. I think it looks really cute. That's what we're gonna try today. But there are tons of options with this cap. Now that the hair is parted how I like it, I'm gonna go ahead and set these fibers so that they stay how I want them to stay. You can see that this left side particularly is wanting to fall on my face and it's really not doing anything for the style. So one of the tools that I recommend for anyone who wears particularly heat friendly synthetics is a hot air brush. I really love this one. This is the Milano. I've done a full demo on this. You can check my page out showing how I used it on my Dolce Dolce wig. I use it to restore the fibers and I use it to restyle them when they're fresh out of the box to make them look a little bit better, which is what I'm doing here in this video. Get the hair damp. I'm paying close attention to like these pieces here at the front where I'm really going to be using the round brush. This is not a necessary step. You're not spraying water on the fiber to protect it or anything from the heat because this is a heat friendly wig. I could go in without any water. I just find it to be a little bit easier to get that hair to lay exactly how I want it when it is slightly damp.
looks like after I use the hot air brush for just a few minutes. I think it's already laying so much more naturally and I really like how that part line is looking.